Amagi Metals, where financial freedom is yours. If a person sustains a serious injury while in the custody of the state, how long would you expect the investigation into the circumstances of that injury to last? Would the investigation take longer if the injury was sustained at the hands of state agents? He's a good cop. On March 10th of 2013, Cassandra Fowerstein was in the custody of the Skokie, Illinois Police Department when she sustained multiple fractures to the right side of her face, which required numerous reconstructive surgeries and has resulted in permanent numbness. A video was made public on October 9th which showed exactly what happened to Cassandra, the same day a civil suit was filed against the department. Michael Hart is the individual responsible for her injuries and was placed on desk duty following the release of the video. On October 30th, Criminal charges were filed against him and he was suspended, with pay. I don't have any comment. As an internal and external investigation is allegedly still in progress, taxpayers in Skokie continue to fund Mr. Hart. On the road with the police accountability tour, Pete and Garrett ventured to Skokie armed with cameras and questions for Mr. Hart's colleagues and bosses. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Yeah. yeah, we're hoping to talk to your colleague, but maybe you could help us as well. I'll see. Uh, we just had some questions related to an incident that happened uh, here in March. Oh, okay. All of that stuff is handled through Village Hall. The, uh, the uh, person to talk to is a girl named Ann Tennis. So if she's over at Village Hall, you can go talk to her about all that stuff. Yeah, do you know what incident we're referencing? Yeah. Is that uh, something that's commonplace? Jail facility or? Guys, I can't say anything more about it, really. If you want to talk to Ann Tennis, she'll give you all the information you need to. Have you, have you yourself witnessed Mr. Hart or heard of Mr. Hart doing something similar Guys, in the past? have a good day. All right, seriously. I, I, I can't talk about any of that stuff, so. Okay. Is all right. Order from the chief or? Just the way it is. I just hope when someone gets injured in custody that there's an instant review process. It doesn't take months like it has in this case. And she'll have, have all the answers for you, hopefully. Okay. Can I get your badge number, Mr. Shu? Mine? Yes, sir. Uh, 401. 401. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hello. How you doing? Hello. What can I do for you? Um, sure. uh, my friend and I have some questions about police accountability issues here in Skokie. Sure. And we told him I'd be able to speak to the manager about that. Let me give you the business card for Ann Tennis. She's the director of marketing and communications. Okay. She's not in the office at the moment, but she's very responsive. Let me see if I have anything. Here we go. One for each of you. That's oh, nice. thank you. Thanks. Is uh, one of her colleagues around that we might be able to speak to? Well, that would be me. Okay. And I suggest that you speak to her directly. Okay. Yeah, we were curious because there was an incident that occurred in March where someone got severely injured while in police custody and this occurred in March yet nothing really happened until the video of it was released in October and uh, my curiosity is why when someone's severely injured in police custody there's not an immediate review and an immediate response why it required this person to file a civil suit after sure. there to be action. I do, I do understand your question and concern and I'm sorry it might be recorded Yes, I'm recording. It's important for me to know that. I appreciate it. Oh, it's out. It's visible. It's not uh, it's secretive. That's for sure. Um, but I do suggest that you speak to Anne directly. I'm not at liberty to make a comment. There is an investigation going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that investigation being done internally? Internally and externally. There is a statement on our village website, which is www.skokie.org. I don't know if you have seen this yet. Have you? Oh, I think I've only been to the police website. Not the town. We were just at the police department. They referred us to the town offices. Sure. On our website, there is a village statement on there, and it will give you some of the details. Okay. Is the external? Are the folks doing the external investigation? Are they still paid for, like uh, by taxpayer money here in Skokie? I don't have that information. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we'll try to reach out to your colleague. Thank you. All You're right. welcome. Have a good day. Take care. Hey, I want to let you know we're recording for transparency, but I was hoping to speak to George if I could, please. Mayor? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, he's not here at the moment. Okay. Um, is there uh, one of his colleagues I could speak with? Um, 
Are you looking for the, then the village manager, or what are you? Well, we just uh, tried. We went down to the uh, village manager's office a second ago, and um, but yeah, we're just hoping to learn about some policies and some um, related to an incident that happened. Well, um, the Corporation Council is probably in the same meeting with the manager and assistant village manager right now. They're in a meeting together. Um, those would be the three other people I would okay. uh, suggest you talk to. The mayor is out of the office at a meeting outside. Okay. So can I have somebody contact you? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. I'll leave, I'll leave the name and number. Sorry, the meeting you mentioned was a corporation? No, the Corporation Council. Okay. He's the chief legal officer for the village. Okay. He's in the same meeting with Oh, them. the village is the corporation? Yes. That's what they call the chief legal officer of, of the village is the Corporation Council. Okay. And your name? Uh, my name is Pete. Last name's Air, E-Y-R-E. -E. Okay. And uh, my phone number is 603. And so you want the manager of the Corporation Council, someone to call you back? Yeah, the mayor would be great, or the manager, city manager. Okay. Okay, and do you want to give me some idea what it was pertaining to? Um, I'd rather speak with them directly, if that's cool. Okay. Okay. Thank you for time. You're welcome. Thank you. Name? My name is Phyllis. Phyllis, okay, thank you. Have a good day. Look, I know this isn't gonna. They're not gonna say yes. We uh, we admit this guy's in the wrong. I'm gonna fire him right now, and they're gonna give us the runaround. But still documenting and showing it's gonna show other help. You know, make it clear to other people how unaccountable these systems are. Okay. crossfire of gang-related shootings. It's important that we be tough on gang crimes and we be tough on guns because the le more guns on the street, the more violence we're going released this statement after Officer Hart was charged saying, my family and I are relieved by the news today. I've never been interested in revenge, but I was the victim of a crime in the Skokie police station that left me seriously injured. And I believe that Officer Hart should be treated the same as anyone else who commits a crime.